It's time to install Python 3.12 on Ubuntu. These steps will work for Ubuntu running on WSL also. This lesson has a free companion article available, so that way you can copy and paste the commands. The link is in the description and the pinned comment. We'll start by opening the Linux terminal and updating our current software. We can display the current version of Python by running Python 3-- version. You probably have version 3.8 for Ubuntu 20 or Python 3.10 for Ubuntu 22. Note that we are not going to modify this version. It is important that you do not uninstall, remove, or change your default system install of Python. Instead, we're going to install the latest version of Python alongside the default version. To get started, we'll install the build dependencies. Enter Y to confirm. Next up, we want to download the Python source code with wgit. The link to the latest stable release can be found at python.org. Make sure you get the stable release, and we're going to do the xzcompress source tarball. Copy link address. Come back here, you can wgit, and then paste the link. We can do ls to display that we've downloaded the compressed source code. We can extract the Python source code using the following command. Look again, and now we're going to change directories and go into the directory where our code is located. We're now going to configure our optimizations. Note, there are many more configuration options to explore. If you have a day or a week to kill, you can either run configure dash dash help, or you can take a look at the documentation. Finally, we can build the code. We want to make sure we use make alt install to create another Python installation in addition to the default. If you run just make install, it will likely overwrite the default system install of Python, and that's not gonna be a good thing. First thing we're gonna do is make all, and the dash J16 here says how many threads to use for this. So just set that number to the number of cores on your PC. 20 minutes later. Then we run sudo make alt install. Once the make and install completes, we can confirm that Python 3.12 is installed by checking the version. As you can see, we have Python 3.12 installed under the command Python 3.12. Additionally, you may want to know where you installed Python 3.12. You can find that out by running the which command. From here, you can use your new version of Python for projects by creating a virtual environment for it. Let's demonstrate this by creating a new directory for our project and then a new virtual environment. We can see that our virtual environment is listed in front of the prompt. From here, both the standard Python and pip commands work without specifying the version. You can see we only use the command Python, and now we display that we're using our current version of Python 3.12 in this virtual environment. Additionally, we have the latest version of pip installed. Inside this virtual environment, we can use pip to install any dependencies like NumPy, Pandas, TensorFlow, FastAPI, etc. Additionally, we can open this directory in our favorite IDE and then use this virtual environment for our projects. Hopefully this helped you get started. Be sure to like and comment if you found this lesson useful. Thanks for watching.